Hello, welcome to today's video. My name is Javian. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about going on the Master Cleanse diet. It's technically not a diet, it's a cleanse for your body and like mine, everything. But it's technically also a diet. So I'm gonna be going on that today. Um, today starts my day one actually. I was supposed to film this yesterday, but I just forgot to basically. And so I'm filming it today on my day one. Um, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what the Master Cleanse is. Basically my day one of what the Master Cleanse is and also how to make the Master Cleanse like drink. Also, this is probably gonna be like, not a series, but like a little mini, like for a video series or something like that. Um, I didn't say how long I'm going on the diet, but basically I'm gonna be doing the diet for 40 days. Is that backwards? And yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, let's get into the video. So I wanted to start off the video basically just saying like my stats, I guess you'd say, of like, how much I weigh, how tall I am, all that jazz, you know, get that out of the way first. Um, so I'm currently 235 pounds, according to a few minutes ago. And then my height is, oh, I keep looking down also because I have it written down right here, sorry. But um, my height is five, six and a half. And technically based on my height, five, six, let's just cut that half off for the five six I should be 117 to 143 pounds which I used to be literally like bouncing between that for like so many years if you hear something um I just moved back in with my mom and she's downstairs cooking my brother bacon so just sorry about that um but yeah so I went on this diet January 1st through the 10th with my mom. I was 237 pounds the day that we started, and then uh, the last day I ended up being 225, like 0.2 or something like that, which was really exciting for me because I haven't been able to move out of the 30 pound range in literally a year. So I didn't work out except for twice. Um, I did two hours of dance in total for those whole 10 days. And all I did was like K-pop dances. I didn't really do like intense workouts or anything like which K-pop dances are intense. Some people said, pretty much like everyone that I've seen said and like the book that you can buy um, on the Master Cleanse, it says that you'll get like lots more energy, but most people when they go on cleanses, just period cleanses in general, I know like they like feel, oh, I'm so tired. Oh, blah, blah, blah and they just don't have energy for anything. So I just didn't want to overwork myself because I was like, oh, I don't want to do that, no way. So the diet, and then there's a day, and then the next day, this day I went and I ate like a public sub and then I literally had soup in the morning and everything. So like I wasn't like eating a lot, but that's definitely not how I wanted to come off the cleanse. There's tons of ways how you're supposed to come off the cleanse, um, but yeah, I didn't really follow it correctly. And then the next day, the fourth day after, oh my God. The fourth day after, I ended up weighing 228, which I was like, oh, okay. Um, Cause I did eat food. It's not like I was like easing back into food like I should have. Um, and then the next day after that 228, I ended up just weighing 232 and I was 232 all up until like literally like today and yesterday, I think I was a different weight. But that's because yesterday I literally consumed a whole feast of Chinese food before I went on this, which was a bad idea. Maybe, I don't know. So you may be asking, why am I doing this for 40 days? Um, basically, I just wanted to prove to myself that I can do something for 40 days. And um, I don't eat a lot of food anyway. Like when I eat, like I'll eat one big meal and then that's all I'll eat for the day. So I don't eat a lot of food, but in the big sense, like I eat a lot of food at once. Um, but I wanted to like show like, I don't have to eat like so much food in the same, I don't know, I don't really know how to explain it, but basically I just wanted to prove to myself that I can do this for myself and see how much weight I can lose. And on top of that, I just want to feel cleansed. I don't know, I just want to see what, I just want to see what happens, honestly. And if I can do it, that's even a bonus, okay, okay. Also, this video might be kinda long, so if this video is really long, then I'm probably just gonna do my day one into a separate video. Also, I'm planning to do maybe day one through 10 in one video and just call that a video, so there'd be like four videos. I'm definitely gonna be recording every day, so I just have to 
compile that weirdly, so however you want to see it, let me know if you want to see it a certain way. If not, I'll just do my own thing. So now, let's get into what the actual cleanse itself is. Now that I've talked about myself enough, okay? So basically, you can do the cleanse 10 days, or you can do it all the way up to 40 days, or you can do it 30 days. Basically, the minimum is 10, max 40. So just stay in that limit. So basically, there's a five-day period where you're supposed to enter the diet, um, part of those 10 days, and I didn't. This I'm not doing it this time. But I did do it the first time I went on the diet, and I don't really know if that makes a difference. I'm definitely going to see if that makes a difference this time. But like I said previously, I don't eat a lot like that, so I'm not really too worried about being like, Oh my god, I'm starving! Oh my god, I'm starving! But I also might, just because I do eat during the day, so it's like, mm. So day one and day two, you cut out all processed food, all alcohol, all caffeine, all meat, all dairy, and added sugars. And then you focus on eating raw whole foods and especially try to focus on fruits and vegetables. Someone's doing construction. So on day three, you're going to start getting used to a liquid diet by eating pureed soups and smoothies and broths as well. Um, and you can also have fresh fruits and vegetables that day as well. Also type all this in the description box maybe, probably. If I remember, but I'll type it all in the description box if this isn't clear enough. So day four, you're gonna drink only water and fresh squeezed orange juice. Also to the orange juice, you're allowed to add maple syrup to it if you want additional calories. And then you're also supposed to drink a laxative tea before bed. I like read someone's blog and like watched some girl's video and they were basically saying that they added enough maple syrup to the drink itself that I'm gonna tell you and to their orange juice to equal a thousand and like 200 calories I think a day which I thought that was really smart so you're not like in a calorie deficient and you're still getting calories like you normally would but you're still cleansing so that's a good idea for some people if you're really like scared to like drop your calories like that or anything um you can do that I personally don't care so <laughs> I just don't <laughs> And then day five is when you actually start the cleanse itself. So basically, after those four days, yeah, after the first four days, you're gonna be on this drink every single day for the rest of the however long you wanna do the cleanse. But you're allowed to have six to 12 servings a day or stay in that range, the minimum six. But I definitely stayed at the six range every single day. It was really hard for me to drink six servings of it. I just got like a huge gallon drug and like filled it with all the stuff that I'm supposed to put in it and I just drank that throughout the day but I don't at the time I didn't drink a lot of water so it was really hard for me to drink a lot of stuff and then also on top of that think about trying to drink water. I didn't drink water like at all. I drank maybe like a bottle if a day and by a bottle like this bottle which is like 23.7 fluid ounces so I really didn't drink a lot of water. I should have. Um, that probably would have helped cleanse me better. This time I'm gonna try and drink um, three of these bottles a day, maybe four, who knows, but I'm gonna try and drink three a day or two. I just wanna drink more water than what I was drinking and what I do drink on the regular. So these past few days I've been trying to drink three bottles a day, so my body starts getting used to that and like, you know, you pee a lot when you drink a lot of water. So I've been trying to like get my body used to doing all that and all that jazz. So I'm gonna read the recipe off my book. It's down here. Um, but so what I'm about to read is for one serving and I can put in the description box this recipe for six servings that you would have during the day and then you can just add from there yourself if you want the extra servings or not. I know some days like my mom felt like she had like very low energy and she was just like, oh my God, I need more, I need something, I need something. So she just had another glass on top of the six glasses and she felt so much better after. So the first thing is you're supposed to have two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice, or you can do lime juice, I found out, um, which is about half a lemon, the two tablespoons, or 30 grams. <laughs> um, and then two tablespoons or 40 grams of pure maple syrup. And for your maple syrup, you wanna make sure to use like a pure organic maple syrup or else it won't have the same effect the um, master cleanse person who created this said. Then you're gonna do a tenth of a teaspoon or 0.2 grams of cayenne pepper or more to taste. But yeah, this drink literally tastes like straight lemonade itself without adding more cayenne and all that kind of jazz and adding more maple syrup. 
So it was like really weird because I was like, why am I drinking straight lemonade all day long? That's what I felt like. And I was like, this just feels wrong. Why am I drinking lemonade upon lemonade upon lemonade upon lemonade? But then eventually I was like, this is so good. Like I was craving it every day. I was like, oh my God. And then once I ended the diet, oh my God. Me and my mom were like, oh my gosh, we want more. And now we're sad. Like I was sad. I was like, I'm not gonna drink more. Now I'm sad. Like I feel like I'm supposed to be drinking more and more and more. And like still to this day, it's been like almost literally a whole month now I'm like I'm supposed to wake up and drink my salt water and drink my lemonade what what's going on but yeah anywho and then you also want to do 8 to 12 ounces of purified or spring water so basically a sample day of the cleanse would be you'd wake up first thing in the morning you're supposed to do a salt water flush um, basically for the salt water you drink one quart which is 32 fluid ounces basically of warm water mixed with two teaspoons of sea salt and that's to get your cleanse in you know the bathroom moving and stuff and basically just help you in the end of it so yeah just make sure you have warm water when you do it because I did it in cold water it's nasty and you're supposed to do it in warm water anyway so so then throughout the day, you're supposed to have six servings of the lemonade drink. Um, you're supposed to drink it whenever you feel hungry. For me, it felt like an obligation and I was like chugging it whenever because I'd be like, oh my God, I have to finish it. It's so much. And like I'd wait till like 6 p.m. and then be like going to sleep. But like I wasn't going to sleep, but I didn't want to drink it at like 10 o'clock. And then before bed, you're supposed to drink a cup of laxative tea. It's suggested. Um, it's not required I don't think I'm pretty sure if it is I'll make sure to correct myself in the description box so now I'm just gonna show you guys like what I personally use to make my drink so the tea that I use is this organic smooth move tea and it comes with 16 bags it's organic and basically you just want a tea that has sienna in it the sienna and the tea is actually what makes it a laxative so I got the original one I have the peppermint one and then I also got the chamomile one for when I'm going to sleep um because you take it before bed. I figured this would be good to take before bed. And then the other one I would take in the morning. So basically I read in the book, if you can't take the salt water, like if you like for certain, like, I don't, I think he said diabetes. I don't really, sorry, don't quote me on that. But for certain reasons, if you can't take the salt water, he said that you can use the tea and drink one in the morning, just like you would drink it at night. So I just got one for night. And then if I need to drink it in the morning, I have something to drink in the morning instead of the salt water if I really can't do the salt water. So for my lemon, I just use this Lakewood Organic Pure Lemon and then it has 26 to 30 lemons in it. It's fresh pressed. Um, basically everything you want fresh pressed when you're looking for like orange juice if you're not going to squeeze it yourself and if you want lemons. I read someone used non-organic lemons and they like squeezed it themselves and they did the cleanse and they felt like no results and then I read someone I mean then she did it again and she used organic lemons this time and she felt so different she said and so I'm just saying it's a lot of lemons to invest in um, this is only I think it's $7.99 but this is a much better deal and it's fresh breast it's organic I know it's not fresh squeeze myself but it's definitely better than any anything else I guess then the maple syrup I use is the Kirkland brand from Costco and it's just maple syrup. It's organic and everything nice. And I hate maple syrup. I hate maple syrup. But so uh, this helped me get more used to maple syrup, I guess. Um, I didn't really taste it when I was drinking it, so I wasn't really upset. But during when I drink my tea, I just make sure to put like a spoon or two of maple syrup in my drink in my tea just because I was scared I was like I'm gonna hate my tea and then I'm not gonna like it and then I'm not gonna want to drink it also on this diet you're not supposed to have any vitamins at all um he said you won't need them basically literally like this like cured someone's ulcer it's like all these things so I really don't know it's a whole thing in itself if you really want you should look it up your own self and like research it yourself um I did lots of research myself and then I ended up finding the book online so I read the whole book after I did the diet the first time and so now I have so much more information definitely the book includes a lot more if you guys have any questions at all literally like anything I can definitely let you know what it says in the book um, just let me know 
But yeah, he said you don't need to take vitamins at all. I have like tons of vitamins I take every day. I haven't taken them since before January 1st just because I did the diet. I didn't take the vitamins because I was like, I don't know if I need to take them. It's extra calories. Um, I don't think I should. So I just didn't take them. I didn't know you weren't supposed to take them. And then now I know you're not supposed to, so I'm just not going to. Um, I don't take them for any like medical reasons. Um, in the book, it does say certain medical things you need to make sure not to not take your medicine, but like certain things, it's like, okay, if you take vitamin D a day, stop it, you don't need it right now, okay, okay. So in my day one video, I'm gonna be showing how I make like my full drink for the whole day and everything, so if you wanna see that, make sure to check out my day one. Um, I don't know when it's gonna be up, it should be up sooner than later, maybe, if I'm doing the 10, seven, I don't know, again, let me know if you have any preference or anything. But um, in day one, I'm also gonna include my measurements. So yeah, you can see all that. The first time I did the diet, I definitely lost a lot on my waist, my hips, my legs, my arms, everywhere, my face, my neck, everything. Um, it didn't look like it to me personally. And like when I was losing the weight, I was like, I don't look like I lost like 12 pounds, but I did. For me personally, I just don't notice when weight's gone. Like I've lost like half a bra size and I don't even notice half the time. So. Hopefully this will help me notice and I can look back on it and I can help people. That's my biggest thing. I'm so excited to help people if people see this and they wanna do it too. And maybe it'll help people. I'm so excited. And then I also, the thing is you're supposed to lose like roughly one to two pounds a day. I lost 12 pounds in 10 days. So I'm assuming I'm probably gonna lose like around 30 to 40 pounds, which I'm really excited about, but Again, the whole thing is just to feel more cleansed and prove to myself I can do it, but I'm excited to lose a lot of weight. Yes. And if I don't, I won't be upset. Like, I'm not going with the mindset. I'm doing this to lose 40 pounds. I'm doing this to lose blah, blah, blah pounds. I'm not doing that to myself because if I didn't lose that, I know I'd be upset. Um, but I did read lots of people. Everyone that I, like, I literally researched like crazy the other day. A lot of people, either they lost 30 pounds or they lost up to 65 pounds doing it within the 40 days. Also, sorry, this is a really long video. I just had a lot of information and I just wanted to word vomit it to you guys. So that way you guys have everything that I knew, everything that I could tell you in this amount of time. Again, if you have any questions at all about anything, literally I own the book now and I have like knowledge of that I've done it before. So just ask me if you have a question. I will answer and let you know. Also, make sure to follow my fitness Instagram. I'll have it linked below. Um, if you wanna follow my Twitter, you can follow my Twitter. It's linked below too. Um, also, I do song covers on my channel now. So if you have any song requests, let me know. Um, I'll probably be recording one, hopefully. Hopefully this week or sometime during this diet. Um, I've been vocal training myself. So my voice has been changing a lot. I've been getting used to it and more happy with my voice and comfortable and confident. Um, so if you have any requests, let me know. Um, make sure to check out my other song covers if you'd like, thanks. And my name is Shavian, I'm 235 pounds. And I'm five, six and a half. <laughs> thanks for watching. If you wanna subscribe, you can. If you wanna turn on the notification bell, then you can. So we can get notified when I update on my diet or I post a song cover if you want to hear that and yeah okay thanks for watching okay bye bye wish me luck <laughs>